Hi guys. Today I'm going to talk about MIDI ports in FL Studio, what they are, and how you can use them to route MIDI data. There are two ways you can use MIDI ports. With hardware devices such as external controllers or hardware synths, and to route MIDI internally within FL Studio, either from a hardware controller to a plugin, or between different plugins such as chord generators. MIDI ports in FL Studio have a number assigned to them. Ports can be used to both send and receive MIDI data. You need to make sure that you have set the port numbers correctly to route MIDI data. For example, MIDI being sent on port 4 will only be received by hardware or plugins that are receiving data on port 4. I'm going to start off by looking at how MIDI ports work with hardware, and then take a look at how to route MIDI to and from plugins. When using a hardware controller, you can assign it to a specific MIDI port in the MIDI settings in FL Studio. Press F10 to open the MIDI settings. I'm going to be using my Impulse MIDI controller. Right now you can see that it is enabled, but has no port selected, the three dashes in the port field. With no port selected, notes on my keyboard will be sent to the currently selected plugin in the channel rack. As you can see, as I switch between the plugins, the notes are sent to the selected plugin. Note that I've added an empty sampler to the rack as well that makes no sound. You'll see why in a minute. Let's go back to the MIDI settings and assign a port to the impulse. I'm going to choose port 5. I've got massive setup to receive MIDI input on port 5. Let me select the empty channel again in the rack so you know that no sound should be playing and play a couple of notes. As you can see, the notes I'm playing on my keyboard are being received by Massive, set to MIDI port 5, the same as the keyboard. I've also got a second keyboard connected, this time on port 6. I set FM8 up to receive MIDI data from this port. I can now play both keyboards together, and each keyboard is triggering a different plugin. As well as assigning ports to hardware inputs, you can also assign MIDI ports to hardware outputs in order to control external hardware. To do this, you need to add MIDI out to the channel rack. You can then set its output port to the same number as your MIDI output. In my case, I have my MOFO synthesizer on the output set to port 4. I've routed its audio input to mixer track 1. The port in the MIDI out plugin is also set to 4. If I play a note, then you can hear that it is sent to the MOFO. Now, native FL Studio plugins don't have an input port you can select, so if you want to link a hardware controller to one of these plugins, you have two options. The first option is to load the plugin in Patcher. In Patcher, you can add additional connectors. Right click on From FL Studio, select Outputs, and select the port you want to use. In this case, I'm going to choose port 7. Connect the patch points in Patcher to send the MIDI to Harmer. Now I'm going to go back into the MIDI settings and change the input port of the Impulse keyboard to port 7. Now notes I play on the Impulse are sent to Harmer in Patcher. The other method you can use, and this works for all plugins, is to right click on the plugin and select Receive Notes From. Then select your MIDI controller from the menu. If you haven't already selected a port for the controller, one will automatically be set. A little lock icon indicates that the plugin is locked to a specific MIDI device. This method also prevents MIDI from being sent to the currently selected channel in the rack. Alright, enough of that, let's remove the link for now. As well as routing MIDI to and from external hardware, you can also route MIDI internally in FL Studio in much the same way. Let's go back to the MIDI out and change its port to 5. Remember, this is the port that Massive is set to receive MIDI on. 
With the MIDI out selected in the rack, any note I play on my keyboard is now sent to Massive through the MIDI out plugin. Notes in the piano roll will behave in just the same way. Of course, you could just program the notes in the piano roll for Massive, but you can also use this method to route notes to multiple plugins at once, just set them to the same input port. But probably the main benefit of being able to route MIDI with FL Studio this way is that it allows you to send MIDI data generated by one plugin to another plugin. I've added tone space to my channel rack and set its output port to 5. Again, this is the same port that Massive is set to receive data on. I've set tone space up to play a full chord generated by clicking a single note. Now when I play a note in tone space, it will send the full chord to Massive. That pretty much wraps it up. The important thing to remember is that to route MIDI within FL Studio, you need to make sure that you have both the sender and receiver set to the same MIDI port. Use them to send MIDI to and from your hardware, to send MIDI between plugins, and to link controllers to a specific plugin. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.